From the moment the IEBC declared William Ruto as the President of the Republic, it was looming doom for the Director of Criminal Investigations, George Ginotti. I have also received the resignation of the Director General of CID, Mr. Kinoti. K24 understands that Kinoti tendered his resignation last Friday owing to apparent reasons that pitted him against Ruto's Kenya Kwanza. The back and forth is said to be among the reasons why Kinoti hanged the boots, despite the fact that his term was expected to end next year. His time at the helm of the investigation unit was characterized by controversy, with the Kenya Kwanza team accusing him of being used by the Uhuru's administration to settle political scores. At the National Delegates Conference of March 15th, Ruto promised to rein in the DCI. They have weaponized the DCI and I want to tell them on our first day we will free the DCI. Of key fights that pitted the Ruto camp and DCI was one that played out in the media during investigations of arms cachet and the consequent murder of security officer within the deputy president's office. Kene. Shot themselves in business. No matter how we demonstrated to give the theory of the hypothesis some sense, they could not. A drama that Ruto termed as a move to smear and collapse his political ambitions. His run-ins with Ruto extended through to his allies who lamented of targeted arrest with Kirinyaga Governor Anwe Guru, Mithika Linturi and country's new second-in-command Rigadi Gashagwa becoming casualties. We are going to tell our security officers that they cannot send a junior police officer to go and harass an interrogator and elected governor. However, his decision to reopen IEDP cases in 2020 backfired in his face with a backlash from many leaders, including President Kenyatta, who argued that the move would ignite serious wounds of Kenya's darkest moments. Government has given us firm instructions that not again should we go and correct bodies with rollies. A decision that appeared to be targeting the then Deputy President William Ruto and his alleged role in the 2007 post poll chaos. You must always think before you do something. Sisi hatutaki vita katika taifa letu la Kenya. Sisi wengine wetu tunajua maana ya amani. Na sisi tunataka kurekebisha zile shida na turekebishe kwa njia ya kikatiba, kwa njia ya kisheria. Statement by Kenoti amounts to incitement and provocation of the peaceful citizens of Kenya. And to add insult to injury, incitement of communities is being conducted by state organs. During his tenure, he was in 2021 expected to serve a jail term of four months for failing to comply with a court order on the return of Jimmy Wenjigi's confiscated guns. Kenya Kwanza would also launch a scathing attack on Kinoti following the detention of the Venezuelans at the height of August polls. Please, we want to ask you not to allow the security agencies, people who have sinister motives, to intimidate or blackmail the IEBC or to undermine the elections of 9th of August. Efforts to combat insecurity also bore fruits with several foiled terror attempts credited to his team. Kinoti would also oversee the launch of a 4 billion ultra modern forensic hub and was last November elected to the Interpol Executive Committee for a period of three years. Martin Opio, K24 TV, Nairobi.